angiolipoma is a benign tumor consisting of mature adipocytes and thin-walled blood vessels with intraluminal fibrin thrombi. The vascular component can be quite prominent in some cases. On a lower magnification, we can see that the tumor is well circumscribed. It has thin fibrous capsule. It is uh, somewhat lobulated. The component of adipose tissue is composed of uniform, bland-looking uh, adipocytes. There are no lipoblasts, no atypical cells uh, within these fibrous stromal uh, septi. Now we can find some blood vessels also in the normal lipoma. However, here the vascular component is uh, more prominent and most importantly is it, it is associated with, uh, with um, intraluminal fibrin thrombi, which is uh, a diagnostic sign. Here we have the different case, so adipose component, vascular component, and uh, here we have the nice uh, clearly visible fibrin thrombi in all of these small blood vessels. If we want to be sure that this is fibrin and not just degenerated erythrocytes, we can use uh, the fibrin special stain. Uh, so, so we can find erythrocytes in most of these small blood vessels and uh, fibrin uh, thrombus here. The cases with, with very prominent vascular component are called cellular angiolipomas. Uh, for example, if the tumor looks like this in, the, in all the areas, that could be an example of cellular angiolipoma. The most common localization is a forearm, and clinically useful sign is that uh, these lesions are typically painful. So when you have painful subcutaneous nodules, uh, which are often multiple, uh, you can suspect angiolipoma. Normal lipomas are not pain, uh, painful. The lesion is usually small. It measures very commonly less than 2 centimeters in diameter, and it has good prognosis. It is uh, a benign tumor. Thanks for watching.